Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and it has been a while since we got an iOS update and one is actually really, really needed. So in this video, we're going to talk all about that. We're going to talk about more new features of iOS 16.3, the current state of iOS 16.2, and of course, more releases that are coming really, really soon to iOS. When can we expect those? And of course, what we need as soon as possible, because iOS 16.2 16.2 is actually not looking that good. So before we get started with all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I'm noticing that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos, you want to be updated with more news regarding iOS 16, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. We're starting things off with some more new features that we have found on iOS 16.3, which currently is on beta one, and it has been for more than two weeks now. So let's get into the notification center. Now, this is something I got for the first time on iOS 16.3. I don't believe this has been around probably is a new feature with iOS 16.3 and is a suggested notification. Now what this shows here, you can see if I tap on it, it says this gaming focus suggestion. So basically while I was gaming, it suggested me that I turn on the gaming focus mode. So it says use a smart activation to turn on gaming focus automatically based on signals like your location, app usage and others. So you can see right here, it also gives the option to enable it or disable it directly from the notification. It's really, really interesting. I believe this to be new on iOS 16.3 as this is the first time I got this notification since the focus modes has been added to iOS. New to iOS 16.3 is also this new splash screen that you will get when you go into the Maps app. Now this talks about ratings and photos. Now these have been changed on iOS 16.3 beta one. We're gonna take a look at that in a second here. But basically it shows you like a few things that you can do like share your experience, serious suggestions and also photo credit. This is what you will see the first time you open the Maps app on iOS 16.3. Now let's head on into the Maps app and take a look at the changes. So when you go to a place on the Maps app, now you will have actually a new design here. If you tap on the ratings, you can go ahead and now just rate that place. So you will see here overall product and customer services, and you will also have the option to add photos. Just like these photos that you see right here, when you go right here, you can see all the photos you see from this place, you can now have your own shown there, just tap right there, and you can go ahead and add the photos that you might have of that place. And now let's go back and talk about iOS 16.2, which of course is the latest public release of iOS, and it's not looking that good for the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max users. So there are reports, a lot of users are reporting that one or more green lines are showing on the screen. Green and yellow lines that will flash on the screen before disappearing, of course, after a few seconds. This will happen when you turn on your device. And according to some users, Apple, Apple support has informed them that this is an issue that is not related to hardware. So it's not like a problem with a screen, but it's actually a bug on iOS 16. In this moment, iOS 16.2. So this should be a problem of iOS 16.2 because I didn't see any report regarding this problem on previous iOS versions. So according to Apple, this will be fixed very, very soon, of course, with an iOS update. Probably that will be iOS 16.2.1 because iOS 16.3 is a few weeks away from being released to the public. Now, one of the biggest features of iOS 16.2 was the new HomeKit architecture but that has a lot of problems. A lot of users have been facing a lot of issues since upgrading. So Apple actually pulled that update. So that's another problem with iOS 16.2. Now, according to Apple, this, this is an issue that will impact a lot of people, of course, a lot of users, and that the fix will be available very, very soon. So this, again, will have to be iOS 16.2. I don't believe Apple will wait for iOS 16.3 to fix this problem with iOS 16.2 and the new HomeKit architecture. They should release iOS 16.2.1 because, again, iOS 16.3 is just on beta 1, and it will take a few more weeks before it can be released to the public and while we're expecting iOS 16.2.1 to be released which should be actually an urgent update 
when can we expect it to be released let's go ahead and take a look at the calendar right here so today we're on january 3rd so i don't actually expect apple to release an update this week even though it's quite urgent they never release on the first week of january so we can expect that to happen the next week the beginning of the next week should be the time when we get the new update which again is an urgent update to fix the screen problem and the HomeKit architecture which actually has been pulled and i believe apple to release that feature with this update as well so what i would expect is actually monday or tuesday the next week so January 9th or January 10th should be one of the days when we see iOS 16.2.1 to be released to the public. So while we're waiting for that update, we have currently iOS 16.3 on beta 1. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this update and how it's performing. So taking a look at the Geekbench scores right here. Here we have the CPU test, so here we have the latest one from today. Now, this one right here is on iOS 16.2, so the single core score was here 1874, while we have 1881, so just a slight increase there on the single core score. While moving and taking a look here to the multi-core score, you can see that with iOS 16.2, we had 5,490, while on iOS 16.3, we have a multi-core score of 5,556. Now, this is a really great improvement here on the performance. and It actually shows iOS 16.3 is actually performing quite good. I didn't face any issues with this update since having it, even though it's on beta 1. And I had it for a couple of weeks here, so the performance is quite stable. And now, let's move on and talk about batteries, of course. One of the most important things when it comes to iOS updates because a lot of iOS updates tend to just drain battery or have any bugs that will impact the battery life of your iPhone. But iOS 16.3 here looks quite okay. So here we have like 120% there, 11 hours on screen. Here we have about 85 maybe percent, 6 hours, 52 minutes. Right here we have like... 70 for five 70 percent we have seven hours 16 minutes so it is it, actually quite good not the best ever but very very similar to the last update i was 16.2 so if you're on i was 16.2 and move on to i was 16.3 i don't think you will notice any difference on battery life it's not that it is improving a lot it's basically staying the same with every update and last but not least we're talking about i was 16.3 beta 2 when can we expect that to be released Released. Of course, I would expect it to be released next week again, as I said, similar to iOS 16.2.1. I don't expect any update this week, but it will be the next week. Now, for iOS 16.3 Beta 2, I would expect it to be released probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. That basically depends when Apple will release iOS 16.2.1. If they do it on a Monday, then the next day I would expect them to release iOS 16.3 beta 2 so whichever day they release iOS 16.2.1 i'll expect them to release the new beta the next day so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video these are the latest news of the latest updates regarding the current state of ios and what's coming in the next week of course we had a few weeks here of just holidays and of course no releases for ios softwares but we should expect new releases very very soon starting the next week we can expect new public releases and of course new betas which should be really really exciting so again thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one